Hi, this is Congressman Andy Kim on April 8th. Uh, I just got off a phone call with Vice President Pence and his White House Coronavirus Task Force, including Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burks, uh, and Secretary Mnuchin, uh, our Treasury Secretary, was on the line as well, uh, made clear that we need to be pushing forward more for testing. Uh, we've really uh, pressed the administration on where they're at when it comes to the deployment of tests. Uh, trying to make sure that we are getting uh, what we need here in New Jersey as the, the numbers are continuing to increase. We've now have uh, additional uh, over 3,000 new positive cases. The number of deaths uh, has now increased in our state to uh, 15, over 1,500 deaths in our state to the coronavirus. Uh, the number of positive cases that we have as a state, if our state were a country, uh, we would be number eight in the world right now in terms of positive cases. It shows you just how dire things are in New Jersey, and we need to make sure we have the testing uh, available. I was pressing the other day for additional FEMA test site in uh, South Jersey for us to be able to get this. There are two FEMA test sites up in North Jersey. We want to make sure that we have uh, greater and increased testing facilities uh, down in South Jersey as well. So those types of efforts that we're pushing across the board with Secretary Mnuchin, we were pushing to make sure that uh, a lot of our programs right now are implemented with haste. There's a direct monetary uh, relief to American families, the $1,200 to many families. Uh, this needs to happen immediately. We need to make sure we're rolling this out with the small businesses. Uh, while the Paycheck Protection Program is something that will be able to provide a lot of relief to small businesses that are on the cusp, and I'm hearing from small business owners right now we're just saying they're, they're a couple days away from having real problems where they may have to lay off workers and, and things like that that they don't want to have to do. Uh, we need to make sure that we implement this Paycheck Protection Program better. I've heard from a number of you of the problems that have been raised and Secretary, we relayed those concerns to Secretary Mnuchin and he took them on board saying that they're doing what they can to be able to increase their and surge their capacity to be able to handle uh, the, the sheer volume of, of loan applications coming in. In the CARES Act from Congress, we put in a lot of resources to Treasury, to IRS, to Small Business Administration to be able to increase those resources, and we need that to happen immediately. We also need to make sure that the guidance that the Treasury and all their departments are putting forward to lending banks and small businesses is something that's clear, something that's comprehensive, as we've been seeing just piecemeal information coming out, which has led to a lot of the confusion, especially from lending banks on what they're able to do moving forward. So we urge Secretary Mnuchin to clear that up as soon as possible. So we're gonna to continue to push on this. And uh, I have uh, a town hall on small businesses this coming Friday at 11 a.m. We'll have representatives from different chambers of commerce there, as well as uh, the head of the New Jersey EDA uh, to be able to help answer questions about this. So uh, know that we're working on this. In Congress, we're also pushing hard to get additional funding to small businesses. The Paycheck Protection Program, which is starting to roll out, uh, is something that, that needs more resources to be able to make sure we're keeping up with what small businesses need. So I'll continue to, to push on that in Congress and know that as a member of the Small Business Committee, this is a, a huge part of the focus I'm doing. I also just wanted to report that I just ended a telephone town hall uh, about the coronavirus response uh, where we spent a lot of time talking about uh, unemployment insurance. We had the New Jersey Labor Commissioner on the line and I'm grateful to uh, Rob uh, Angelo for joining us. So thank you, Commissioner, for taking the time. Uh, we had a, a very uh, important call. Uh, there were a, a lot of people asking questions, many that we're going to continue to work on to get their questions back. But questions about uh, the gig economy, uh, gig economy workers that are self-employed, uh, the Commissioner said that they have received guidance from the federal government finally to be able to uh, put this into effect. Um, so he laid out some of that of, of what needs to happen and we can provide uh, additional information about that. We'll recap some of the, the most uh, asked questions and provide it for uh, all of you uh, to be able to receive. Uh, again, I encourage you, if you'd like more information, to sign up for our daily coronavirus email where we're compiling a lot of the information that we get. If you're a small business owner or worker, you're welcome to join uh, our telephone town hall on 
uh, this coming Friday at 11 a.m. We'll have the information attached to this video. And if there's anything else that we can do to help you answer any questions, uh, provide you with information during these uh, difficult times, don't hesitate to reach out now to me and my team. Thank you.